Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, we are getting this video started just in time for y'all to see that. The sun is just peeking up over the horizon. Timing is perfect for Mother Nature. We about to get started y'all on some catfish today. I've got me some white bass. I've got some skipjack, good and fresh. Got those yesterday evening. We're gonna drop them down here right at the top edge of a deep hole. Right now, I'm 68 feet deep. It drops off to about 90 feet right here behind me. So I'm gonna suspend a couple baits off the front of the kayak, cast a few back behind me, kind of down in that hole. And we're gonna sit here and watch this beautiful sunrise and wait on some cats to bite. Man, it's gonna be an awesome day, y'all. Let's get after them. I think we got a fish right here. We got number one, y'all. We got number one a pulling. Let's reel him in. This one here ate a chunk of white bass that I was dragging along bottom. I have gotten on the move. I set up on that deep hole. And I gave it about 30 minutes and I, just nothing happened. I wasn't getting pecked. I wasn't seeing nothing on the grass. And so I've started trolling back up river. Now we were supposed to have a little current flow this morning and surprise, well, we don't. So <laughs> I'm just trolling back upstream here, working my way back up toward the launch. I've still got two baits suspended on the front. I've got two baits dragging off the back. And right now I'm 67 feet moving about 0.4. And this one ate my chunk of white bass. Hopefully get him up here and get him landed, get the skunk out. Yeah, it's a small fish, but it's a it's a start. We got nowhere to go but up from here. You better have left that bait on too. I don't think you did. This fish has done stole from me first thing in the morning. I'm gonna have to bring this thing in like that. He will not open his mouth for nothing. Now he'll open it up. You old thing. The heck's wrong with you fish acting that way? I guess he thought if he took his time opening his mouth and all, he'd get more camera time. Joke's on him, I can edit the, the delay out right there, but gosh, uh, he got some water on the lens. He got water on my lenses. But uh, yeah, y'all, I'm just, I, I really, I had hoped that there would be some fish. Let me turn this way. I had hoped that there would be some fish kind of in that hole. The pattern I've been on lately is catching some fish down in deeper holes along the main channel ledges and hitting a different one out here today and well you swing and miss sometimes and i swung and missed on that hole this wasn't nothing there so i'm just going to work my way back upstream just kind of working along the the contours here on this main river channel and got my speed about 0.4 and we'll just move along here we'll keep a couple baits suspended i'm gonna adjust the depth of those keep them two or three feet off bottom as we make our way along and have these other two dragging off the back that one again ate a chunk of white bass i'll get it replaced put it back out but i got the skipjack head dragging here skipjack chunk on the front left white bass head on the front right and there was something splashing behind me over there we had to try to get a cameo appearance in of that fish they're so desperate to get on video, but they ain't biting today. These, these, these fish got to get together, y'all. Oh, man, that's a nice takedown. Oh, nice takedown, y'all. Nice takedown. Oh, he was pulling some line. Well, we got something good hooked up here, y'all. I was in the process of reeling in my other baits up here, my suspended baits, when this one took off. I was actually about to make a run upriver, and this fish just talked me out of it. Assuming we get him up here and he's worth a flip, but boy, he was pulling some line. This area here just hasn't, hasn't produced. I'm not seeing anything on the graph, really. So I thought I'm gonna make a run up the river here. There's another kind of uh, deeper hole there, kind of a depression in the river bottom. And I thought I'll just pull up and see if there's anything happening up there. And as I'm in the process, I've literally, I've got that rod reeled up. I was in the process of reeling the other one up. And I hear this rod taking off behind me. He was pulling some line before I get the dang camera on. Nice, nice cat right there. Nice cat. Yeah, that's a, 
That's a fun sizer right there. I ate him a skipjack head, but he was dragging a long bottom. Y'all probably couldn't see any of that with the camera facing right into the sun. I know I could barely see it. And I got my, my shades on. Nice fish right there. Okay, fish, come on up. Oh, Lord, calm it down. Yeah, that's a, that's a quality fish right there, man. This fish just talked me out of moving. We're just gonna stay the course. I'm gonna drop these suspended baits down right quick. We'll get our head back out there. That skipjack head still looking to be in good shape. Nice. Hold yourself up there, you heifer. Yeah, that's a that's a quality fish, man. That's a that's a fun sizer and just kind of come out of nowhere. I wasn't seeing nothing here on the graph at all, but you know, you never know. These fish pick up on your scent trail. They come after it and boom, you got one on. So we'll just keep uh, we'll just keep the course here. Keep my speed 0.4ish, 0.5 trolling along this ledge and we'll see if we don't run into some more like this or maybe some even bigger and we'll eventually oh goodness get out of here fish with that attitude we'll eventually get up here to that deeper hole uh, that i was talking about there it's just i thought well, if there ain't nothing here and i'm not seeing anything on the graph i'll just really uh, make a run up there see if there's anything in it but uh yeah i think we'll just troll our way up there and see what happens in the meantime on my front suspended bait here. Oh, it's on there, man. It's on there. We got one on right there. Oh, he's gonna pull now. That one ate a chunk of skipjack. I felt in kaboom. And we off to the races. Of course, it's gonna hit on the side of the kayak that's facing directly into the sun right now. Y'all have to bear with me. That sun gets up a little higher, it won't be an issue. But right now, y'all looking right into it. Put your sunglasses on as you watch this video. I'm gonna have to send y'all glasses like them old, uh, what I used to call them movies when we was a kid. You know, you get them glasses, one lens will be blue and one was red. And you go to the movie and watch a show. I guess they got them IMAX movies now that's similar. I can't afford them. But you know what I'm talking about. There ain't hardly a cloud in the sky this morning. Block that old sun. It's going to be hot today, too. It's going to be a short trip for me overall, but we're going to hopefully catch us some fish in the meantime. And this one here's got a bad attitude. He's, uh, he's another small fun size. Maybe a large dink. We'll call him. He, he says, if I, I call him a large dink, he's going to bite my thumb off when I get up here. So I better just call him a small fun size. I eat him a chunk of skipjack and of course he has thrown it off. I come out here yesterday I got one skipjack. So I come out here with limited skipjack. Plenty of bait overall, but limited skipjack. And so of course he's gonna throw that off there since we short on it. But I do have plenty of white bass for us to use this morning. I found the white bass yesterday evening, but just couldn't get on the dang skipjack. Well, come on in, kitty. Oh, you got a hold there, kitty. You got a hold there because that rod's going down. Oh, he's flopping around something terrible. This rod just went down behind us. That's my head again, that same skipjack head. We're getting our money's worth out of it, by gosh. There's two fish on it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm landing that fish and I see this rod go over. That's exciting, y'all. Love it when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I had these dragon rigs. I've had them tied on here. I keep meaning to switch them over, but I've just been lately, and I come out in the mornings, I've had enough current flow to just throw them off behind me and use them like a normal anchor rig. But today, I don't know if TVA just ain't running the water they say they're running, or if I'm just far downstream that there ain't so there ain't any noticeable flow down here but when i was setting up there initially i just didn't didn't see any water movement so good thing we had these dragon rigs tied on gives us another option basically as we troll along just have a couple suspended and a couple dragon just a couple different presentations you know and dragon sinkers they're pulling along the bottom stirring up at mud Help them give you a little extra 
little extra attraction there in addition to the blood and the oils that your bait's putting off. Well, I'll tell you what, that's another one there, slightly smaller than the one in the floor here. Let's set him back a second and we'll work on this one. I don't know if that one there is front camera worthy, but we'll give him a little time anyway. You hear him talk, he's excited. He, he, can't, he can't hide his excitement about being on that front camera. <laughs> Go on fish, now that I've made your day. You go accomplish something today. All right. I don't know why I'm taking this glove off. Let me get this in land. Oh, he landed himself. That in there, he popped off. He said he wasn't waiting on me to get that other one going. Well, that bait's seen better days. But it's the only skipjack head I got. So we're just gonna, we're gonna toss it back out there, y'all, just for doo doos and giggles. If it catches us another one, great. If not, well, we got three other options for them. So I'm gonna put my last chunk of skipjack on this rod. And again, we got the white bass going off the right side of the kayak. So we'll just keep, we'll just stay the course, you know, keep plugging along here. And we run into these fish periodically. That's fine with me, but it wouldn't hurt my feelings one bit. So I get all that slime off there. Wouldn't hurt my feelings one bit if we run into a big school of them and had every one of these rods going down, because man, that's exciting when that happens. I got one working this front rod here. This is on the white bass head. Now, that's a larger bait right there. By gosh, he's got it. Unless he's got the stinger fly under it, which is possible. I've got on my suspending rods here, I've got my catfish sumo bait stalker flies a few inches below the bait. Now, I don't run those flies with my dragging rigs because, well, you don't want an exposed hook just kind of dragging along bottom there. But I should try them flies on the dragging rigs at some point just to experiment, just to prove myself wrong. But I don't think they would work as good. But nevertheless, I only got them today on the suspended ones. Well, I got something here on the white bass. Oh, he's... He is foul hooked. He's got the stinger in the side and the bait in the tail. You, you might be the dumbest fish I've ever seen. I don't even know how you, how you managed to get hooked like that. Normally, I don't like bringing a foul hooked fish into the kayak because I don't like rewarding bad behavior. But that one I had to because I knew if I didn't, he would fling that bait off the hook, which he did but he threw it off inside the kayak so we're getting it back so i'm gonna put this thing back on as in geese go over and say hi to everybody hello geese good morning yeah we'll send that back down like that fix the fly there boy he got that fly all slimed up too didn't he that's all right them dang flies man they catch you some extra fish they've caught me a bunch well, let's drop that back down. We'll see if we can't get another fish on that head there. It's still in pretty good shape overall. Ain't nothing been messing with that white bass. Seems like a fish want to skipjack today, which is par for the course. They always want the bait that you ain't got much of. <laughs> All right, we get that rod back in the rod holder there. 60 feet deep here where we're at, but we're going to keep making our way along and it'll get a little bit shallower as we go up river. There we go again on back rock on that skipjack head. Oh man, man, he's pulling, buddy. He's pulling. Now he's coming back at me. <laughs> Fish number three on that head. This don't feel too bad right here either. Well, that, that old chewed up head getting it done, buddy. They like that head. That's my favorite bait. I've said it a million times. A skipjack head on the Tennessee River, it's hard to beat. Any time of year. Yeah, he feels he feels like a good fish. I'm curious to get this one up here and get a look at him. <laughs> I hope he left that bait on. I don't care. If there's just gill plates left on that bait, we're going to throw it back out. Ain't going 
take some more line now. I think something. I think something's after my other rod over here behind me that's dragging. I ain't got time to fool with it. We'll look in a minute. We're gonna focus on the one in the hand first. Unless one of y'all can teleport through the screen. Go back to the future, Marty. Come out here and grab that rod for me. That's a blue, I feel him. I feel him rolling down there. Yeah, that's another solid fish, buddy. I think he got in my other line back there. Maybe. He may have he may have got in my other line. That may have, yeah, he did. He's got it. That's why it was acting funny. Let's see if you if you're in the teleportation process right now, don't worry about grabbing out of the rod. <laughs> this fish just got in my line. Oh Lord. Well good news, the skipjack head is still on there. We're gonna be out of commission for a couple minutes because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to untangle all this mess. That ain't a bad fish right there, man. Come on in here, fish. Oh, 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 we got one on the suspended rod. Is he still on there? I think he's got it. I gotta set you down, fish. I gotta set you down because that rod bent over, man. Oh, he come off. That didn't come off. He had it. Well, let's hold that one up there. I believe that one is the biggest of the morning thus far. Another one dragging, another one on the skipjack head which we do still have it on. It's a carcass at this point, but by gosh, we sending it back out. If we can get a fourth fish on it, heck yeah. Nice, man, that's good quality right there. I'm glad, who knows what's going on in this other hole up river here, who knows? But at this point, I'm glad I just decided to stay on this path and just keep trolling. Because I'd have went right over you fish. I'd went right over the top of you. Just like all these bass boaters running 70 miles an hour, they passing millions of fish to go hit a different spot to try to catch a fish. Anyway, I'll go on a rant, Blue Cat. We gotta get you out of here. That, that cat right there, he don't give a crap about my bass fishing philosophies on all these guys. He says, I don't catch no bass anyway. I oughtn't be talking about them fellas. And that's probably true, but I'll talk about them anyway. Cause all these guys, they go 70 miles, you ain't gonna catch no fish at 70 miles an hour. They go 70 miles an hour from one ramp. They'll go 15, 20 miles up river to try to catch a fish. Meanwhile, how many bass are between here and there? Anyway, y'all don't want to hear that no more than that fish wanted to hear. We got to get some lines straightened out here because this one got everything all tangled up with my other back rod. I got one on this front rod. I ain't got time to re untangle all that mess because I got another one on right here. See, this is where I need y'all here to give me a helping hand. Help an old boy out. Reel in one of these fish or untangle some lines one. That last one there on the dragon rod, he's done a number. He must have rolled about 47 times down there to get that thing tangled up. That skipjack head too, buddy, it looks, it looks ridiculous. I'll show it to you here in a minute. I'm throwing it back out anyway. If I had a better option, we'd have switched it out two fish ago, but we don't, so we're rolling with it. Meanwhile, this one ate the, the suspended skipjack chunk right here. Yeah, that's another one there that's that decent quality. Larger dink, smaller fun size. Let's set him here a second. I want to get this other line back out it's for this skipjack head. He somehow ran the line from my, oh, there it went. Look at that head, y'all. Look at that head, man. Let me turn it over here so you can see it in the light. That is a mangled, ugly bait right there. But will it catch a fish? We will find out. <laughs> Cause it is tore up all to Hades. Well, I'm going to hook it through the meat here in the back because there ain't nothing left to hook there in the face of it, man. That thing's, that thing's done. We're going to cast it back out here a second. We're going to land that other one. I'm just giving that a light toss back there. Not running these real far behind me because the water's calm. There's no chop. There's no wind. It's a perfect day out here right, right now other than just being a sweat box first thing in the morning so we're just gonna run it maybe 
between 30 to 50 yards behind me. And now we're gonna land this fella right here. Oh no, oh man. You silly fish got me all wet. Get up in here, act like somebody. That was uncalled for. I don't care if it is hot as blazes, I still don't wanna be soaking wet. You lost your front camera time, fish. I'll turn you into the light, but that's all you're getting out of me. That's it. You act like that, you ain't getting rewarded with front camera time. I don't care how big you are. Old fish. Yeah, y'all, man, what a what a series of events there. Business started booming all of a sudden, right? We just come into some fish, got into an active area here where they were obviously there and feeding. And uh We'll flip that bell over there now and just continue on our way. I'll show you. It's right now, 57 feet, but you can see I'm just kind of on the edge there of the of the channel as we make our way back up river here, the old river channel anyway, before they flooded this to make the reservoir, and just covering water. And as you do this, you'll just periodically run into fish. These fish will sometimes be schooled up and you get two, three, four fish move along a stretch nothing 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 boom another rod goes down so that's what we hoping for out here i'm gonna put a i guess i'll put a piece of white bass on because we ain't got no other options that fish through the through the skip the last piece of skipjack we had off so we'll rebate keep on the move i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i don't normally like the tail pieces of any bait but since this is our last skipjack and since the fish have shown a, a clear preference for the skipjack over the bass this morning. We're gonna use that piece of tail meat there. Just for just for lack of a better option. We'll see if they want it versus one of these other pieces of white bass on the other rods. And of course we still got our mangle chewed up head on that other one. We've got some results out of that head though, buddy. You won't believe this that dang skipjack head that carcass <laughs> it's hit again <laughs> can't make this stuff up people is this fish number four on this thing how awesome would it be if we got it back surely to goodness we won't get this one back <laughs> there ain't much meat left to hold it on the hook it's another one here that don't feel too terribly bad either <laughs> I guess when we finally lose this thing, we'll put a put a white bass head on. That other one up there on the suspended bait hasn't done anything for us, but it seems like these fish are kind of preferring the dragging baits today anyway, so this in here don't feel bad. We ain't got no monsters out here this morning, but the quality overall hasn't been bad. I mean, when you're getting fun sizers on the regular, that's a pretty good day if you ask me. I would like to hook into something of some size though. Get me a golly whopper this morning. It's, the bar's been set high lately with my past couple trips out. This one here, I believe y'all, I think he's throwing the bait off. I think it's gone. Dadgummit fish. Why didn't you leave that bait on? They said they've made that bait famous down there. They're keeping the daggone thing. Come on up here, fish. Get you a little, get you a little camera time. Come on in, fish. That bait's gone. Well, fish, tell these people why you done that. He said he had to have it. He just had to have that bait. It was so popular. It's like a daggone Teddy Rupskin or a Cabbage Patch kid in the 80s, man. I don't know what these kids get excited over at Christmas nowadays, but back in my day, it was a Teddy Rupskin, by gosh. And this fish here had to have it. I don't even know. You probably can't even find a Teddy Rupskin these days. For you kids out there that are young and don't know Diddly Poo, Teddy Rupskin was a bear and in hindsight, it was kind of creepy because you'd put a cassette tape in it and it would tell you stories and talk to you. 
it's almost kind of demonic that people would have something like that in their children's rooms. It's very creepy in hindsight. But at the time, every kid wanted one, just like that fish wanted that skipjack head. So we're going to have to put on a we're going to have to put on a white bass head at this point and just drag it along and hopefully hopefully it's more the presentation than the bait itself because if it's the bait itself we're screwed because i ain't got no skipjack heads let me show you this screen right quick here we've come across some fish with the glare you probably can't see but right there's some along the bottom here's some here comes another one 53 feet here so we're getting a little bit shallower as we make our way up river but we're definitely running into some fish right here i'm gonna turn the camera back on we've got an accidental hook up here I told this fish none of these are going to care, but he wanted me to turn the camera on anyway. This one's got to be an accidental hookup because this is this white bass head. I went to adjust my baits here, get them set at the right depth since we've come up a little shallower while I was swimming with that other fish, and we've had one. Uh, he's ate the fly. He's ate the fly down there below, below that bait. At least this one was smart enough to eat it and not get foul hooked by it. Oh, oh, oh. Look right here. Let me set you back, fish. Let me put that back in the rod holder and reel this one in. We just come through those fish I showed you on the screen, and here we go. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> I was about to cut up another white bass and put on the head. Yeah, I'm still seeing some fish on the screen. Maybe we're getting up here to some now. This is another one that don't feel too bad. This was on a chunk of white bass. We're going to have all white bass from this point on. If we can get them to eat it, we're in good shape because I got plenty of them. For whatever reason, last night I just couldn't get on the skips. Got that one, but everything I was catching was white bass. The place I've been getting skipjack at lately, I went there first. And they had the daggone ramp that I've been launching out of. They had it shut down for some reason. It was roped off. So I had to call an audible and went across town, hit a different area. And well, thankfully, thankfully I was able to get a cooler full of bait, but I just had to make do with some white bass today. Yeah, this in here ain't as good as I thought he was. He's a, he's a larger dink. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I want to do before I do anything, y'all. I want to get this other fish cut up here and get another bait out, and then we'll deal with our dinkity doo doll in that one. I'm going to take this white bass up under the gills, out one of the nostrils right there. And we'll toss it back, get it back in the water and moving while we get our others landed there. Go ahead and be letting out some line on it. Now let's get our fly fish here. That way he don't throw this head off while we fiddle around. He actually got that fly in the side of the face. So maybe he, he might have tried to eat it and got foul hooked. Who knows? Either way, he gone. Get that slime off there. Man, they slimy fish today. Okay. Let's lower that head bait back down. Get that and suspended. 53 feet so we'll have this bait set at about 50-ish feet give or take not an exact science don't really matter you just want it to be close to the bottom without being on bottom that way you ain't getting snagged up now let's get this back here got our bait back on that one kind of you fish to leave one he's a fun size in length but skinny Real skinny. He gones what he is. Get down there, fish. Go find you a real piece of food there. Eat a meal, buddy. Get you a bologna sandwich or something. All right. Get that untangled. We're going to have to rehook this thing. We're going to get it out. Let me flip my bell over on the other one there. We're working efficiently as I can here. I'm trying to get these baits back in position as we move along. We were on some fish. There we go. All right, we'll let out a little line on that, and uh, I think we're going to have all four rods back in the game here, y'all. So nice, really 
started out slow I, I just knew fish were going to be in that deeper hole down there up around the top edge of it and just wasn't the case but as we've made our way along up the river here we're running into them now dadgummit y'all i turned the camera off and i meant to turn it on amateur hour out here i had another rod get hit a second ago and turn the camera on never turned the dang thing y'all y'all don't care about that just know it's amateur hour just because i put out youtube videos don't mean i know what the hell i'm doing <laughs> nevertheless we got another one on on the dragon bait here this is the white bass chunk the dragging baits have definitely outperformed the suspended baits today so glad i had them on now if i didn't have these baits dragging would we have well i guess we probably wouldn't have caught those same fish because we'd have been long gone we would have went right over the top of them since these baits are far enough behind us in here though he's He's a smaller one here. He ain't living up to the quality of some of his friends. He'll get there someday because I'm gonna let him go, but he ain't there today. There we go. Tell him hi and bye, fish. He says, see you later, alligator. I think I'm gonna switch this bait out here. The white bass is a really tough bait. Like it's hard for them to rip it off the hook. That's one of the good qualities of it, but it's not a real bloody bait it's not a real oily bait so it kind of washes out kind of quick especially in the warmer water so we'll go ahead and switch it out put on a fresh piece we got something on the white bass head here dragging baits getting it done today out of skipjack but that's all right we're making it work let me get this buff off my head y'all i had to put the buff on it ain't but like 9.30 in the morning, but that sun is just baking me out here, man. Between it beating down and then the reflection off the water, because there ain't a, hardly a cloud in the sky, just some haze. I probably ain't going to fish, but another hour or so. It's just one of them days, man. These hot, miserable hot days. I can get out first thing in the morning, first light, get out here, have some fun, catch some fish. I have the water to myself on these weekdays. It's nice. Much as I complain about the heat and the humidity, I'd much rather deal with that than be freezing cold in the wintertime. I'll take a sweltering hot day anytime over 30 degrees, cold, dreary, and wet, you know. Unfortunately, winter will be here before we know it. It's always coming. Just like his fish coming up here to the kayak. Got him a mouthful of white bass head. He may even have him a Teddy Rubskin good doll down there waiting on him too. Them Teddy Rubskins, you know, when I was a kid, I liked that thing. I had that caterpillar one too. But now I think if I saw a doll like that and it was blinking its eyes and talking, I think I'd be creeped out by it. I don't know. It's probably why they quit making the dang things. Probably giving kids nightmares. I think this fish right here is going to be pretty good. He feels good anyway. He's still, he's, he's a blue, he's rolling. I don't catch a lot of flatheads dragging baits. That's why I don't do it more often than I do. I catch flatheads more if I'm either suspending baits and drifting, or if I'm anchored, I'm casting baits out. For whatever reason, I just don't get them very often dragging. Come on up here, fish. I got a glimpse of him a second ago, but didn't get a good look at the size of him. I think it's probably gonna be the biggest one of the morning so far. Yeah, it is. That's a nice fish. That's a nice one right there back up here fish let's get a look at you yeah good fish real good fish right there we'll take that you know what this fish has done before i could get him over here to get him landed he got up there in my front line 
Now, what do you have to do that for? Totally uncalled for. He says, I won't ever talk crap about his Teddy Rubskin doll. No, oh, whoa. He's still mad at me over it. He must have had that old caterpillar one too from Teddy Rubskin. Come up here now. Come up here. You done got that line for my suspended rod. I'm going to let out some slack on that thing. You're going to have it all messed up. I don't know how you done that fish. Oh, how about this one right here, man? Nice fish. That's a good one right there. That's definitely the best one of the morning. <laughs> I am happy about this. Nice, man. Could have done without you getting in my front line. He says, I could have, he could have done without getting a hook and a jaw this morning, too. We all can't have her away, can we? <laughs> all right, well, let's let him go. We'll send that white bass head back out and keep making our way up through here. Adios, fish. Arriva Dirce. Aloha. A.K.A. He gone. Oh, this one's going down now. We're just taking turns on these dragon baits, man. Between the head and the chunk. Meanwhile, I can't get them suspended baits. I can't hardly get them touch. I don't know why they don't want that suspended bait today. I'm Obviously, I'm going right over those fish. I'm seeing them on the graph. They're just not interested. When that dragon bait comes by, like I said, it may have something to do with the, that sinker dragging along the bottom. You know, it's stirring up that mud and probably... You know, I don't know how much noise that rattle down there actually makes, but it's something, you know, it's something a little different, just a little bit different presentation. And it's obviously triggering some bites today. This in here feels like another one that's probably going to be decent quality. I don't know if he's going to top that last one or not. The last one was pretty solid fish. I like getting them like that. I was hoping to get a bunch of them like that today. Fishing a different section of the river than what I've been hitting lately. I just, you get on a bite like I've been on this time of year that the deep hole bite on these main channel river ledges is normally pretty good. And it ain't just confined to one specific hole. I mean, they'll all, oh man, I got this rod right here. One of them's hit the suspended bait. One of them's hit it. I'm going to work on the one in the hand first. But these fish, you get on a pattern, it won't just be happening at one specific hole. It'll be happening numerous places down the river. And so I'm torn between going to where I've been getting fish and been getting big fish versus trying new places and seeing if I can get something better there. You know, it's the old, that old saying I violate all the time. You don't leave fish to go find fish. But you ain't gonna find better fish if you keep catching what you're getting so yeah this fish this is another really good one man i didn't think he was that big i knew he was a good fish but i didn't think he was like this this is great quality right here man this in here he's comparable to the last one i didn't think he was that big goodness gracious fish goodness now Hang on a minute, fish. We got a boat going by. We can't let them know we're on fish over here. You just gonna have to be patient over there, fish. He ain't, he ain't about no patience, buddy. He ain't about that. Okay. Come on in, you brute. You brute. You old thing. Oh, goodness gracious, man. Calm it down, fish. Calm it down. Lord, he's gonna whack me with that dragon sinker. I don't know if I mentioned or not. If you want to learn how to make these, they're down in the video description, but they rarely get hung up. Great for out here on the Tennessee River. I took them to North Carolina recently. Didn't lose a single one over there either. But these fish, they're on that dragon rig today, man. I'm going to get the hook out of this, and we're going to hold him up. This is a good one. Whew. Get that thing off of me, man. Let's hold this thing up here, man. That's got some weight on him right there. <laughs> How about that? And I think we got we got one more on this other rod over here for sure. And I think something might be on this rod here to my right. But yeah, just dragging along. Got these baits short distance behind me, between 30 and 50 yards. 
don't need no stinking planer boards. Again, I've used planer boards in the past. They're a fine tool, I guess, but they're kind of a hassle and it is the least fun way possible to catch fish with them planer boards. So I don't need them, I don't use them. And uh, definitely didn't need it for this fish right here, did we? Whew, all right, well, we gotta reel this thing in and get this other one over here before he takes off and gets this other line tangled. All right, let's send it out of here. There you go. Let's get the camera back in the chest now. Let's work on this in here. The suspended bait bite has been few and far in between, but this one here got him a, got him a bite. I can't remember, did we? Was this the tail section of that skipjack? Or had I replaced that out with a piece of white bass? I can't remember. It's been a hot minute. My memory, my memory's failing me. Either way, whatever bait's on there, it's gone now. Well, let's leave him set in a second. We'll rebait on this other dragon rod and send it out. Well, out this bait goes. We'll let out some line on it. Oh, we land in this one. Well, here's this old ornery thing. Didn't want to open his mouth for nothing. Get out of here. Yeah, for the life of me, I can't remember what bait we had on that. That may have been that tail section of the skipjack there. But either way, it's gone now. So what I'm probably going to do is take this piece, what the scrap of this piece here on the white bass. It's left from that last chunk, and we'll just cut it, and we'll stick it on that suspended bait. Oh, nice takedown on the suspended bait. Nice takedown on the suspended bait. That piece of, piece of tail piece there from the white bass. Yeah, buddy. Small bait. Got us one right here. So I'll just keep making my way up river. Still 53 feet right here where I'm at. About to go off a little deeper here in a second. I'm gonna fish up. There's another hole up here that I had mentioned previously that I'm about to go in the back part of it up here. I'm gonna fish my way through that hole and up to the top of it and probably call it a morning because it's so dang miserable hot out here. But we're gonna see what's in that hole. This fish right here. Hope oh, he just look at that. He just embarrassed himself on camera. Just this doo doo his drawers right there. Glad you got it out before we got you in the kayak here, fish. We sure don't want any of that in here. He's just barely skin hooked right here. We got the. We about to, oh he 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 was skin hooked and he rehooked himself because he wanted to come in here so bad. <laughs> he was it was barely hanging in his mouth. I thought it was gonna pop free and he thrashed around and put it through his upper lip. You danged old fish, he is hell bent on getting on camera. He'd probably get him two or three Instagram followers from that too. He's thankful for every one of them. We got one here on the front rod. Oh boy, look at him go, man, he's pulling. He's pulling. He hit it and took off, man. Oh, we got some salad around my line here too. I'm kinda in this hole that I mentioned now, I'm 56 feet deep. It's, it's dropping back off. I'm working my way up it here. We're getting to the top. I don't care if I'm catching fish or not. I'm going to the house when I get up here to the top of it because I'm I'm about cooked out here, y'all. It's 10.30 in the morning and it's miserable hot out here. Look right here at this back rod too. We may have, we got something after that one on my dragon bait. We'll get this one up here and we'll crank down on the other. That one there. Yeah, he's he's a larger dink, I guess. It's hard to see which hook he's got with all that cabbage. Oh, there's a lot of gunk on the water. Let's see if we got something on here. Oh, we do. Oh, he just pulled free. He just pulled free. That's fine. We didn't want that in no way. Let's get this in landing. All right, let's bring that thing in like that. Get a hold of him here. Get our salad out of there. Man, that's, there's weeds everywhere up through here. 
Once I kind of rounded that little bend, man, there's all kinds of weeds come through. Oh, oh we got this back rod up. We get out of here, fish. That fish can't even get his camera time because we got one on this one now. It's on that white bass head dragon. Man, he's been fish all up and down through here. The deep hole bite, at least to start with, kind of failed us. But that stretch of river in between there and this this hole really produced good number of fish and good quality fish. And now, now that we're down in this one, we're going some more. You can't go wrong with this this ledge bite here during these hot months, especially you know once you get past the spawn, fish move back out to the main river channel. You can get on a good bite working these ledges and when I'm working them I like to just get on the edges right on the edge that deepest break line and just follow the contour that's one of the reasons why I don't need planer boards because I'm following the contours I'm not just doing some spray and pray type of uh, strategy you know get up here fish this fish that he was he was trying to hide from me down in this hole That's an awful big bait for that small a fish, but he was hell bent on eating, adding a big appetite. Well, unfortunately, there's just not much happening in this hole either, but that stretch of river there between these two holes, man, it was productive. We got several fish, got some good quality fish too, so I'm going home happy today, y'all, but I am going home because my insides, they're roasting right now. I feel like I'm in a daggone microwave out here, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.